In the year 1919, a virtually unknown German mathematician named Theodor Kaluza suggested a very bold and somewhat bizarre idea. He proposed that our universe might actually have more than those regular three dimensions that we are all aware of. That is in addition to left, right, back, forth, and up, down. Kaluza proposed there might be an additional dimensions of space that, for some reason, we don't yet see. Well, till today, we don't know whether this idea about those extra dimensions are right or wrong. Maybe next five to ten years may tell us through some experimental observations. Although it had a major impact in last century, so I would like to tell you some stories about those extra dimensions. To begin, I need a little bit of backstory. Go to 1907 when Einstein, basking in the glow for his discovery of special theory of relativity, a paper of 1905. and then in 1907 he tried to resolve another problem a problem that associated with gravity itself is that the mechanism behind how gravity works and at that moment there are some people who thought that the problem of gravity was fully resolved by newton in late 1600s you know that works well to describe planetary motions to describe an apple falling from the tree and hits the newton hits everything in so precise manner but einstein realized that even newton had left something out of the story because newton in his own writing said that although he understood how to calculate the effect of the gravity he would been unable to figure out how it really works how is it that the sun 93 million miles away somehow affects the motion of the earth how is our sun reaches through an empty inner space and exerts its influence and that is the question which einstein asking for and he found that the medium that transmits gravity is space itself this idea goes like this let me explain uh, let's imagine the four dimensions four dimensional space time three dimensions of space and one dimensions of time as a two dimensional rubber sheet or two dimensional cloth einstein said space is nice and flat if there is no matter present but if there is any matter present at that environment that causes the space time fabric to be warp to be curve and that brings the force of gravity that communicates the force of gravity amazing approach by einstein and it was tested in 1919 through some astronomical observation and it really works and that gained einstein prominence around the world and that is what Kurt Kaluza's thinking he said to himself that well einstein had able to describe gravity in terms of warps and curves maybe maybe i can play the same game to describe the other known forces of the universe that is the electromagnetism only at that time we know other two of them one is strong nuclear force and the other one is weak nuclear force well leave them apart go to kaluza kaluza said well Maybe I can play the same game to describe electromagnetism in terms of warps and curves. That raised the question: warps and curves in what? As Einstein already used up those warps and curves in space-time to describe the gravity, so there didn't see anything to be warp or curve. Kluge said, "Well, maybe there are more dimensions of space." He said to himself, "If I want to describe one more force." maybe i need one more dimension to do that so he imagined about four dimensions of space not three and he also imagined that the electromagnetism is the warps and curves in that fourth dimension now here's the thing when he wrote down all the equation that he found from this five dimensional space time analogy he found all the old equation that einstein had already derived but he found a one more equation for that one more dimension that he imagined and when he looked up at that equation that is long known to describe the force of electromagnetism amazing it is just popped out he was so excited by this realization that he ran around his house for a screaming victory that he found the unified theory now clearly kluge was a man who took theory pretty seriously even there is a story in his childhood he wanted to know how to swim and then he read a book 
on treatise on swimming and then he dove into the ocean that means he was a man who risked his own life in the basis of theory so for those of us who are a little bit of practical minded two questions immediately arrived well if there are more dimensions of space where are they number 2 does this theory really works in detail when we try to apply it with the world around us no the first question was answered in 1926 by his fellow named Oscar Klein Oscar Klein proposed another ground breaking approach that is the dimensions comes in two flavors might comes in two varieties maybe there are big enough large enough that we can see them or can feel them easily but maybe they are small enough in a tiny regions of space curled up curled up so small that the even the world around us wouldn't see them so that is the approach behind hidden curled up extra dimensions but what about the second question which i asked that is uh, does this theory really works in detail when you try to apply it with the world around us well in late 1940s there are some phases who try to apply this framework to our universe and in detail it didn't work they cannot simply come up with the notion of our you know particle nature of electron they found the mass of the electron by applying this theory as about 5 kg and that is not even comparable so the compelling but somehow bold idea had gone away